you so much. So who's going to do this session? You have three days old baby girl, Rihanna, has developed flex pediatrics, who settled down on IV phenobarbitone. Her septic screen is normal. The birth history is normal. Rihanna was delivered uh, by filter normal delivery. So any ultrasound was suggested of right settle some uh, in front ischemic changes. So please explain to the mother, okay, about the Rihanna's condition and further management plan. So mother's name is Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. This is recently come for your exam, guys. Yes. I can if no one is there. Uh, I don't know why I'm just not coming forward. Vichita. Sir, I can do, but my I'm looking after my toddler too, so it will be disturbing. So, okay. Then others. Who are all exam going candidates? Then who else? Okay, Silpa Sharan. So I will try. Uh, my name is Dr. Ramaza. I'm also going for the exam. Sorry, what is the good name? Ramaza. Okay, okay, sure. So yeah. uh, I'm going to keep the timer. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, do you want to open the camera or do you want to do it like that? It's up to you. Uh, can I just do it like this, sir? But I would keep it. Sure, sure, no problem. So uh, you have two minutes for the preparation time and after that, we'll begin. Yeah? Okay, yeah, sure, sir. Are you ready, Romaisa? Oh, yes, sir. We can go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop the screen share. Yeah. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Olivia. I'm Dr. Romaisa. I'm one of the doctors on the pediatric ward. Uh, are you Rihanna's mother? Yes, doctor. This is Olivia, Rihanna's mother. Uh, is this a good time to talk to you, Mrs. Olivia? Yeah, yeah, doctor. Okay. Uh, would you like anyone to attend this meeting with us before we start? What happened, Doctor? Is there any serious issue? Uh, yeah, I would like to discuss uh, with you about uh, Rihanna. So, um, is this a good time? 
ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेशन मिसेस ओलिविया ऑन द बर्थ ऑफ योर ब्यूटीफुल डॉटर रियाना थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर हाउ आर यू डूइंग आफ्टर द डिलीवरी मिसेस ओलिविया yeah doctor i'm doing good thank you very much uh, but uh, i don't know why uh, my doctor is still in icu so i have not been updated recently that's exactly uh, why we are having this meeting uh, mrs olivia we will discuss uh, today why she is still in the icu can i ask before we start uh, what you have been told so far uh doctor actually uh, i've been told that uh, she is having kind of some abnormal movements and uh, they need to do certain tests maybe some blood yes. infection could be there correct she will do it yeah okay right. uh so um Uh, Mrs. Olivia, uh, what happened is, uh, Rihanna developed, uh, uh, as you said, certain abnormal movements, uh, and because of that, we had to immediately admit her to the uh ICU. That is a newborn ICU. Ah, uh, I'd like to tell you that she is currently stable, so she is well right now, and she has no further abnormal movements after we started her on medication for that. Okay. What medication you started, doctor? uh so we gave her a medication uh, via the um uh, the the blood uh, through an iv line uh, which is called phenobarbitone uh, which is basically a medication that stops the sort of abnormal movements which are also known as fits is that okay yeah yeah doctor but why my doctor developed uh, these abnormal right. movements that's a very good question mrs olivia so uh, it's uh, not normal for small babies to have uh, these kind of abnormal movements so that is why we had to immediately admit her to the uh, a newborn icu and make sure that we are uh, working her up and making sure that there is no other cause for it so uh, during this we did some blood tests and her infection screen is normal so there is no infection uh, which is a good thing uh and uh, after starting the uh, medication the uh, abnormal movements have also stopped uh, we did a scan for her uh, her head to see if there are any abnormalities on that and that showed us um, a, a small a stoppage of blood to a certain part of the brain so you can see this picture which i've drawn for you in this i've showed uh, uh, you a picture of the brain and uh, usually in our brain we have these blood vessels that you can see in red Are you with me so far? Yeah, yeah, doctor. Yeah, I'm with you. Right. So, uh, what I've shown you separately is in uh, a certain blood vessel in which you can see there is uh something called a blood clot. Okay. So basically, what happens is that there is a disruption to the blood flow uh of the brain and that area which I've shown in blue that does not receive any blood. Are you with me so far? Oh my God! So what is going to happen to my daughter, Rihanna? Uh, I know, Mrs. Is she going to be yes. on right? Ah, uh, yes, Mrs. Olivia. I know you are extremely concerned, and this is very distressing. Ah, uh, and you can be reassured that Rihanna is in the ah uh, best hands possible, and she is being taken care of really well. She is stable currently, and she will be all right. Um, but ah uh, because of this, we had to make sure that we are treating her urgently, and that is why we have given her this medication. so that she has no further abnormal movements is that okay yeah sure doctor but i i, I just wanted to know uh, yes sure of your uh, issue that the 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 part of the brain uh, which is not getting blood supply uh, so uh, are you planning for any any tests further tests Yes. So what we will do is we will involve the brain doctor, who is also called a neurologist, who will come and look at Olivia and make sure that uh, he uh, examines her, and then he will decide on uh, if we require a further investigation, which is known as an MRI. So that basically looks at the brain in detail and uh, will uh, tell us if there is any further um, uh, problem in the brain and if we need to uh, what we need to do next. Is that okay? Yeah, doctor. Because I want to know what is the reason for the, you know, the your the, telling that's a very important thing. That's very correct. important. This is very important for us to know as well, which is why we did this infection screen also and this uh initial 
uh, ultrasound of the head to uh, let us know immediately if there is uh, anything to be done urgently. Uh, so we will also be involving the brain doctor who will uh, look at her and then decide further what, what steps we need to take. Okay. okay. We may also uh, do a scan for her heart to see if there are any heart problems and uh, do further testing for her blood to see if there is any problem with the um, uh, the uh, the the uh, blood uh, you know um, uh, something that could uh, cause problems with bleeding in her brain. Oh, bleeding! Oh, it could be because of bleeding also. Uh, mm, no, sorry. Uh, what I meant is that if there is any problem with the uh, with the with the factors that take care of bleeding, so if there are if there are any other issues like that, we'll do for the blood test to see. Okay, doctor. Then okay. what are you going to do for the? Uh, are you going to do some special treatment for that? Yeah. So we will continue to monitor her in the ICU where she'll. Get twenty four seven care, and uh, for now we'll continue this medication uh, so that she doesn't have any other abnormal movements. We will also um um start her on uh IV fluids that is um glucose drip if in case she's not able to feed, and we will call the brain doctor to come and see her uh immediately so that he can decide on what to do next. Okay, last three minutes left. All right, doctor. So, like. In future, whether Rihanna is going to seek work and do that is therapy. that's a very good question, Mrs. Olivia. So, uh, the thing is, in the newborn period, these uh signs may not be very obvious to us if she is not able to uh move her uh hands and limbs well. So, we'll need to keep uh following her up and uh, making sure that we follow her developmentally as well so you will need to follow up with her pediatrician uh so one of the common signs that you can have as a long term um uh, reaction or an effect of this uh, stroke could be a weakness or decreased movement on one side or uh, uh, uh more than one side of her body and uh, this you usually will uh, see as she grows older. So you'll need to keep a watch on it and we'll give you a list of uh, things that you need to watch out for. Similarly, if she has any uh, missed uh, milestones in her development, then uh, you'll need a follow-up with the brain doctor. Is that okay? Yeah, I think, yeah. It should be okay, doctor, but I'm very much worried what will happen to her because, as you know, she's a girl child and uh, if she develops any problem with her brain, so it's very yes. difficult for us. You know. Yes, uh, Mrs. Olivia, I completely understand. It's a very distressing. And uh, please be rest assured that we are uh, taking um, the best possible care of her. And we'll also follow her up with regularly and we'll involve the brain doctor to make sure that uh, we treat uh, any other symptoms and uh, as soon as possible. Is that fine? Yeah, sure. Do you have any other concerns that you wish to discuss today? Yes, sir. No, uh, I don't have any other further concerns, but if I have it, I'll write it down and I'll ask you. Okay. Definitely, yes. Mrs. Olivia. So if you have any other concerns, I'll also set up a meeting with our con uh, my consultant and the brain doctor and we can discuss this further. Okay? Yeah, sure. Doctor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can I just go through quickly what we have discussed today? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we discussed the fact that Rihanna had some abnormal movements and uh, we did a brain scan uh, for her and we saw that she has decreased blood supply to a part of the brain, which is called a stroke. And uh, right now there are no uh, uh, further abnormal movements and we are giving her medication for that. We will involve the brain doctor who will uh, come and look at her and see if she requires further testing or uh, in, like further uh, continuation of this medication. Uh, for now, she is stable and she will continue to be monitored in the neonatal ICU. Is that okay, Mrs. Olivia? Yes, thank you. Okay, Mrs. Olivia, thank you for taking uh, time to talk to me. I will uh, give you some leaflets and some uh, websites mm -hmm. where you can look at neonatal stroke and read about it. Sure, thank you. Time it over. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, how was it? Uh, it was okay. I think I uh, 
little bit uh, I messed up there. I was trying to say about like protein C, protein S, but didn't want to say anything about thrombophilia. So I was not able to get the non-jargon term for it. Um, yeah, otherwise I think I was okay. I was able to uh, convince her about it and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I you are, yes, yes, you are a very good doctor. You, uh, really well done. From Thank my you. Side. Yeah, well done. So, okay, there are a few things uh, yeah. you need to discuss about those things. Yeah, before yes. that, uh, do anybody is having any feedback about her performance? You can open your camera and discuss. You can ask the questions. Or with the closed camera, you can ask questions. <laughs> I think here we need to involve hematologist along with uh, the neurologist. Yeah, okay. Just discuss that we will take opinion from the hematologist as the blood doctor as well because yes. there are in some cases it happening. And instead of telling the this thrombophilia or something, the jargon. No, but she didn't say, but she was having difficulty in using the terms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyone has any other feedback? Uh, actually, it was very good. Uh, I have some points. Uh, I could hear that repeatedly, uh, like uh, some two or three times. It is a very good question. Uh, rather than uh, some questions can be uh, said as like it's a valid question. Uh, so uh, that was the, like few uh, what to say minor fine tuning. And uh, next thing was like, uh, instead of bleeding, we could have said like blood getting thickened and uh, blocking the blood tubes or blood vessels. Yeah, I was, uh, just was a little bit stuck. Yeah. I could, I, uh, that time we may not get the word while they're doing yeah. it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, was, uh, I think uh, it was very good and she was able to finish on time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Any anyone else? Thank you, Vichitra, for your feedback. Anyone else? Yeah, uh, from my side, uh, Romaja, so you greeted you. Oh. Yeah, you introduced yourself and you confirmed the root test identity. That is very important. These are the basic steps. Yeah. And yes, after sir. That, yeah, you took permission, uh, like, is it okay to go ahead discussing about yes. this? You ask for the attenders. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. That, uh, like, you know, is there any serious issue with uh, Rihanna? Yes. You told uh, how to how to respond to that. I'm kind. To, I'm, uh, I'm going to discuss about that. Actually, you can just say because uh, uh, you can't say. Uh, again, child might develop seizures and child become sick. Yes. Yeah. So how to how to how to respond to that question? Mm -hmm. I can see. Uh, uh, Let us discuss one by one. Okay, sir. Yeah, that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm here to discuss about Rihanna's condition. So okay. I can see you are worried. Yeah. So something you just say. Yes. Yeah, and you did that actually. And you ask for the prior knowledge, very good. And uh, after that, uh, uh, so you try to discuss the uh, current issue with the diagram. <laughs> so it was very good. So you drew the diagram and uh, blood vessels, blood pipes. So, uh, you know, Rihanna is having uh, the right sided. Okay, it's. Yes, sir. So we had done certain blood test and we had done scan, daily scan of the brain. Um, yes. In the blood test, the septic workup, like for the infection workup, is normal. It's a good thing. Uh, okay, yeah, the jelly scan of the Rihanna, uh, jelly scan of the head of the Rihanna is showing the part of the brain. Okay, some changes, signal changes in the ultrasound. So, okay. from it could be because of the decreased blood supply. That could be because of the thickened blood vessels are blocking the blood pipes, or it could be because of the bleeding. I'm not very much sure about that actually now. 
Okay. okay sir. What are you going to do? Yeah, this is very valid question. What we are going to do? We are going to do further test to confirm, okay, uh, the extent of the you know the the issue there. Okay, sir. We'll be involving brain doctor. Yeah, and uh, we'll be involving the, the blood doctor. We'll be doing further blood test and uh, brain imaging, like you know, there is scans for the spirits. Like what okay. scans you would you like to do? So we have MRI brain and there is a special scan for the human, you know, for the veins also. The MRP, MRI brain, MRP. These are two tests we are going to do, isn't it? Okay, sir. Yeah. So uh uh, basically, uh, we'll come to know exactly is it because of the decrease, like you know, basically, uh, decreased blood supply and changes, and to what extent, uh, you know, damage has happened in the, the part of the brain, the left side, basically. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, sir. So, uh, and based on the reports of the blood test and further special scans, so we'll be able to uh, find what is the exact reason for the 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 uh, the fits okay sir yeah so you yes. use jargons like in stroke you told stroke actually so i wanted to yes. ask what is stroke doctor so try to over those things you just say what else child is having fits it okay, could be sir. because of many reasons yeah it could be because of the low sugar low calcium but we 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 have done other blood tests they are normal and there is no infection so we are okay. thinking, yeah, probably the part of the brain where, uh, like you know, the left side, you you did uh, you have to draw the diagram. You did that diagram. Probably the part of the brain that is deprived of the blood supply. It could be because of the blockage of the blood pipe supplying that area. Yeah, it could okay. be because of the hemorrhage. Less likely, very less likely, because clinically child is not having brain drainage. The other blood reports are okay, but still you have to keep the possibility. It could be ischemic or hemorrhage, isn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but good thing is that Rihanna is doing good now. She's stable. Yes, sir. Yeah. So she's stable. Uh, her fits have control. Okay. Sir. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, what will happen to her? So this is very good question. Um, I can see you are so much worried uh, about uh, Rihanna's condition. So we'll be continuing this anti, like even anti uh, fit medication. Yeah, and uh, yes. the duration will be decided by the brain doctor. We'll be uh, told about that actually, how to take and uh, how to utilize everything and what is the expected duration. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and yes. what would happen in future? Is able to stand, walk, run. Um, yeah, I can see uh, you are extremely worried about future. Uh, it's very difficult to predict uh, what will happen in future because it depends upon the MRI findings, extent of the MRI, you know, the findings there. And yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, an underlying cause. Okay. okay. So it's very difficult now. All right, and uh, you need to, yeah, Rihanna might develop decrease in you know, a positive moments on the one side. Sometimes they can they can continue to have the fits. Uh, yeah, so some children use, uh, you know, the hands early before time, one side hand. So uh, if these symptoms are there, then probably uh, there are some, you know, uh, long-term effects of the, this injury which has happened. Okay, but so. it's very difficult for me to tell you whether she will be able to. Okay, so. Be, uh, be, uh, I, I can, uh, but definitely I'm here to help you and support you. We have expert team of the doctors who will take care of Rihanna. We have a multidisciplinary team, like we have a team of the doctors who would uh, look after them on the issues like fades, like. Uh, uh, Therapy or therapy, you can say, um, yeah, later if there is an issue, okay, so okay, so okay, uh, yeah, and you are not alone here, we are here with you, 
So this is more like, you know, kind of empathetic words and uh, supporting things. Right. So basically, um, yeah, this is a perinatal stroke, basically, yeah, isn't it? So what any special medication you are going to start, uh, you say rightly, because we don't know what is going to do. Might require some blood products, uh, maybe some blood thinning agents, but uh, I'm not sure now. Once yes. the cause is clear, etiology, like you know, underlying uh, the cause for the condition is clear, then I would be able to answer your question. Be free. What is that? Yeah. No issue. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yes. Yeah. Sir. All right. And uh, after all these things, the explanation and uh, addressing concerns of the mother, Olivia. Then okay, uh, you need to summarize. You did that. Uh, summary, uh, make it short. Like, you know, we'll discuss about this one to have it and uh, further plan of care and uh, treatment to be discussed today. Uh, we also discuss about the uh, future, how she is going to you know, behave. Uh, isn't it? So make it short oh. and uh, have to tell whatever you have discussed with her parents. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah, and after that, uh, good that uh, uh, you ask for any further question and uh, summarize and read, uh, say the details about the stroke. You know, stroke parents. So, uh, overall, I'm happy. Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so just try to avoid certain uh, jargon, like, yeah, IV yes. line. Newborn eyes, you strokes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, well done. Okay, sir. Right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Any other thoughts? So, anything, anyone wants to say something? <laughs> Dr. Loni, I have a doubt. Um, yeah. Um, what if the mother asks, uh, is it my fault? How do we answer? Because most of these protein C, protein S, so I believe they are autosomal recessive. So we may not be very sure that she's not uh, involved. But this so is we... not because of your fault, because the mother might, then she will go into depression. It's better to say, to, um, until unless all the you know investigation reports are available, even if it is available also, we, we usually don't help because of you. So, yeah, uh, so... They could be faulty genes, but it's still you say it's not because of your fault. The faulty gene is not because of her fault. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because you need to say that. Otherwise, I've seen people, you know, parents going into depression. It's because of you, the child is suffering like this. If you say like this, oh my God. So really terrifying for them. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Okay, guys. So, uh, what is perinatal stroke? So, the stroke which is, uh, you know, which happens after 20 weeks of gestation and after, until 28 days after birth. Yeah, so it could be ischemic, it could be hemorrhagic stroke. So, ischemic means basically uh, hematological thrombo, uh, like, you know, um, homophilic conditions. So it could be infection, it could it could be in corner of metabolism, it could be because of the proteins, the proteins, uh, the deficiency, uh, or like you know, a mutation. Um, yeah. Uh, like in hypercoagular state, it could be because of the certain other things also polycythemia, dehydration, connected tissue disorders. Many things are there basically. And uh, hemorrhagic uh, because of the sepsis, liver, uh, you know, failure. Um, vitamin uh, K deficiency, many things are there. Okay. So first line, uh, yeah, you need to do complete uh, hematological work of uh, the coagulation parameters and uh, peripheral smear also important. Then, um, um, then you need to do uh, the brain ultrasound. Uh, yeah, and uh, definitely blood biochemistry, especially calcium, blood sugar, electrolytes, you need to do baseline. Important. Ultrasound actually, if there is any stroke, uh, is not visible till until at least one week. Okay, so after that only it is visible. 
yeah so uh, then meanwhile you can go for the mri brain okay mri brain plain then diffusion weighted mri uh, then mr venogropy is also important just to block any sinus thrombosis yeah um so based on the investigation and blood reports then we need to the, the priority is like you have to say the management is airway breathing circulation disability exposure so control seizures oxygen therapy and different medication yeah um, so these things and uh, later based on the etiology the treatment will be it's multidisciplinary management uh, hematology genetic neurology will be involved yeah the serial monitoring of the that's absolutely very important uh you need to do vision hearing screening yeah <clears throat> and uh, long term actually if it is uh, middle cerebral artery territory uh, in front so two third of the children they will develop uh, spastic uh, you know right sided hemiplegia so stroke on left side they will have right sided hemiplegia spastic hemiplegia so that's why you need to uh, look for the positive numbers for oh, continuing focal seizures any delayed developmental signs preferential use of Okay, read about the parental stroke. All right.